Welcome to Cook, Serve, Delicious 2 and my continuing attempts to do all the Chef for Hire events at all the restaurants and get a medal each time. Preferably gold, but sometimes it will be an another type of metal. Silver or bronze being the other two alternatives. And I have got silvers and I have got bronze in my attempt so far, and I'm sure there will be more to come. However, this time around I'm going to Slammy's Old Fashioned Barbecue to continue this one. And the seventh shift, which has ribs, brisket sandwiches or roast beef sandwiches, made out of brisket, uh, pulled pork sandwiches and turkey. And all four of those entrees you either prepare fully in advance or partially in advance. It also has sides of rolls, red cabbage and potato salad, I think that is. With soda and beer as the drinks, 40% buzz and eight serving stations. It's Slammy's, so as always with Slammy's, I expect to do well. I expect to have a perfect day and a gold medal because Slammy's is possibly the easiest restaurant to do. At least as far as I can, I can do restaurants. Slammy's holds no fear for me. Unlike a lot of the other restaurants, which cause me tremendous amounts of problems. And it is potato salad. Potatoes, mayo, egg, paprika and salt. Oh, paprika's that key. Okay. With slammies because the amount of stuff you get to prepare in advance and the apart from in this case the ribs normally the large amount of stuff there is when you prepare it in advance I tend to find slammies rather easy doesn't mean I won't make a mistake on a pulled pork or a biscuit sandwich but I can't make a mistake on the turkey or the ribs The only thing I can make a mistake with with the turkey and the ribs is actually running out of them too early. Or not being able to restock them fast enough. I don't think I've had a pulled pork sandwich request yet. If I have, I didn't notice it. Here comes the rush hour. Okay, I said I didn't think I'd seen a pulled pork sandwich. Now I get a, a mass of them. some more sides. Okay, I don't know where I got to, so I'll just start at the top and work my way down. relatively painless and of course it decided to give me a load of chores to slow me down a bit my pulled pork my brisket and my turkey are all about to expire so of course plumbly comes in all as ribs. Oh, what do you know, more chores. And keep throwing chores at me at sl in slammies and I'm fine with it. Oh good, somebody actually wants my final bit of pulled pork, that's always nice. 
because I don't like throwing away food. But I am going to have to throw away a load of turkey in a second. And I'm going to throw away that brisket because that's gone off. That's turkey going off. And that's the ribs being fully used up. And the rush hour coming up shortly. So, get these chores out of the way. Okay, five, five orders, none of which I can currently serve. Uh, roast beef spicy on the top bun. Run out of ribs again. What a surprise. I bet do the dishwasher while it's there. Yeah, I've completely utterly run out of sides. But I've got everything else under oh, I had everything else under control until it went chore mad. I wonder if I can get another order before the end of the day. Any more? For any more? Any more? For any more again? Ah. 73 perfect orders, perfect day. Pretty and shiny gold medal. I like slammies. And I unlocked nothing new. Okay, let's go read the email. The one solitary email. Traffic report. A smart car has been involved in the collision with a Chihuahua. The driver was instantly ejected through the front windshield and suffered major injuries. As such, State Route 7 will be experiencing delays as police attend to the scene. Stay tuned for updates. Okay, what happened to the Chihuahua? I assume it walked away going, oh, that was a bit of a nudge. You think you give you more information about the state of the Chihuahua? Okay, well, that was Slammy's shift number seven out of a possible 14. Shift number eight should be nice and easy for me because it's all foods that are prepared in advance, every single one. So it should be even easier. I'll probably do a hundred or so orders during the day with that set of foods, possibly more. But that's for the future. As always, one hopes you enjoy to one degree or another. And hopefully I will see you down the road for more Chef for Hire events in Cook, Serve, Delicious 2. Cheerio!